Hey, Pythonesis, this is Will with blogging at machinelovers.com. I'm here with the first in a video that I'm going to call Fluent for Fluent Python video series. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video series, there's going to be uh, as many videos in this series as there are chapters in this book, Fluent Python. This is going to be Intermediate Python. Each video, we're going to go through the main concepts that are in this very well written Luciano. Romalo book, Fluent Python. Okay, the first things first, we're gonna set up our uh, environment. This is what we're gonna be using throughout the rest of this video series. So I wanna point you out what I did to get started here. I'm essentially using a uh, virtual environment. I'm using Python 3, make uh, v inbev is the command to get this virtual environment. And you might have to pip install this. By the way, um, this is an intermediate, intermediate Python course. You're going to have to figure out how to get virtual environments going. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. You should be able to pip install uh, virtual env and get it going. If you get confused, I would go to realpython.com. There's a Python virtual environments primer. I use it for reference. Don't feel bad. Okay, so I'm also using as a gotcha a terminal called fish. That's why you see some of this funky things here in my terminal. I really like fish, but I need to source. Um, I need to source activate for the fish terminal. Hopefully that won't trip you up too much. You should just be able to source uh, environment bin activate to get your Python virtual environment going after you create it. So then you can see that when I run Python, I'm running Python 3.6.3. Three. Uh, so hopefully you'll be in Python 3 and we can get started from there. Okay, so chapter one is, is about the Python data model. Um, some choice uh, talks about the dunder method. So these are the two underscore methods that you see in Python. So the Python interpreter invokes special methods to perform basic object operations offered triggered by special syntax. That's what those dunder methods are. So this book really dives in heavy. The first thing that we're going to do is import collections. And from there, we're going to make a card deck from uh, a name tuple. Name tuples are one of my favorite uh, Pythonic data structures because they have some really nice properties. They are immutable, like a tuple, like a tuple. Um, but you also can use dot notation to get into them. So this, this is the standard way to create a name tuple. Um, so for example, if I was going to make like card A, which would be the card, uh, let's call rank is equal to whatever, and suit is something let's say suit is something then card a what i can do is card a dot rank oh that's card dot rank so i could do card a dot rank and card a dot um suit and then i can also turn a name tuple back into a dictionary if I needed it to. If I needed it to be, it would be an ordered dictionary. Um, but I can't manipulate uh, the rank to be something else, which uh, is really, really great property of name tuples. But the purpose of this example is to make a card deck And so there's just a little bit of setup here. It's actually building your typical card deck. I find it's helpful to actually type these things out. So we have all of the uh, the ranks and all of the suits. 
then we're going to use dunder init. self.card equals and then here we'll make a uh, instance of the name tuple so we're making cards uh, with this init and each card is a name tuple so it's a new immutable and then we're going to implement these dunder methods so we can implement len especially in a special way just for our card deck and then we can implement a different dunder method get item all of these uh, because they're part of the class will take self And they can also take another argument. But the point here is that you can implement in your class these, um, you can implement in the class your own special instances of these Dunder methods. And I did not do this correctly. I think in the next video what I'm going to be using is an IPython interpreter so I <clears throat> can easily go back and fix mistakes. Okay for this first video I already installed IPython because I made a mistake in the typical interpreter and it was really hard to get out so I've installed IPython and I can call it just by using IPython. You just pip install IPython and then you get a nicer terminal right there where I can print and you could see nicely this class, this French deck. And so um, what's nice about this is that um, we instantiated uh, the card before so card so let me go back import collections and didn't do that yet card equals collections that named tuple card rank and suit but now we have uh, we have a deck we have a deck of cards that we can make which so we don't have to make these individual cards we can make the deck and we can see in the deck uh, the card that's the first card which is ranked to uh, two of spades and then we can see the length of the deck which is 52 so this deck is a class it has its own special len um, or Sorry, I'm not even using. <clears throat> we could see what's the last card, which is the uh, Ace of Hearts. What's also nice about importing, <clears throat> sorry, what's also nice about what we've done with this French French deck, <clears throat> which is uh, create our own get dunder get and dunder uh, len message len uh, methods is we could do some things like pull a random card from the deck and see that we got the nine of clubs there you can slice the deck and draw three cards you can reverse the deck and look at every single card 
And of course, this is Python 3, so print is a method. <clears throat> right, so here's our deck of cards. So the point of this chapter is to go through and talk about the special methods. And there are a whole bunch of them in Python. And so by implementing special methods, uh, your objects, the objects that you create in Python can behave like built-in types, right? So when we did len of the deck, our instantiated deck, what we got was 52 instead of something strange with len on a class. We implemented our own, uh, overrode the, the dunder len method. Um, and so it can enable the as, as Luciano writes, expressive coding style, the community considers Pythonic. Um, so this is a lot to dive into. There are a bunch of special method names for operators and special method names, operators excluded. Um, the two that are pointed out, special methods, repr and string, uh, exist in the data model for debugging and logging. So just in this short video, what we've done is gone through uh, name tuples, which are really useful built for building immutable types. We built a class called French deck uh, that had these certain properties. And then we were able to parse it a little bit uh, with some, some methods and some Python. So that's where we'll leave this video. Um, hopefully these will get a bit more entertaining and informational as we go on to uh, the other chapters in Fluent Python. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll, I'll include more uh, from the book. Uh, it's a pretty dense book. Uh, so let me know what you think.